Kumar Gupta and you are watching me live on Alia Port. Through this channel, I will be discussing with you all chapters from 10th Standard NCRT Science book in an easy way. Today, I will be discussing with you all about chapter 10 NCRT course Light. So, what is light? It is the form of energy which enables us to see. Okay. A big basic question how do we see yes through our eyes but our eyes alone cannot see any object we need a source of light to see the object it might be artificial or natural natural like our sun in the day or artificial light at the night these lamps or tube lights etc so for example if we switch off all the lights can you see me of course not. But can you see me now? Of course you can. So, to conclude, we need a source of light to see the objects. Okay, can you see this beautiful table lamp? We can see this because the light coming on it is reflected and when it's seen by our eyes, we can see this table lamp. Also, we can see these beautiful colors because of the road cone cells present in our retina of the eyes. Okay? Now, coming to the properties of light. Properties are first, light always travels in a straight line. Second, light has a dual nature. Dual nature means that light has a particle nature and a wave nature. Particle nature means light, ha light consists of small massless particles or particles with negligible mass called photons we call these photons these particles this or this was given by sir isaac newton sir albert einstein took its benefit and explained elect photo and explained photo electric effect And he got a Nobel Prize for it. Coming to the wave nature, wave nature means that light consists of electromagnetic waves. This was given by Sir Maxwell. Unlike sound wave, light waves, unlike sound waves do not require medium travel. To study this with, an, with the help of an example, the Light, tra light waves travel a distance of one astronomical unit in 8 minutes 20 seconds from sun to earth. But, but, is, but there is no medium in between. So, light waves do not require a medium to travel and this brings the third property. No medium required for traveling. Okay. And the fourth and the last property about the speed of light. The speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second in vacuum. Now these were the properties of light. talks about four phenomena interference diffraction refraction and reflection now NCRT talks about four phenomena interference diffraction Reflection and refraction. Interference and diffraction can be explained by using wave theory. And deflection and refraction could be explained using particle theory. Now let's understand each of them one by one. Let's start with interference. Interference. Interference 
is when two or more than two waves having same frequency or wavelength superimpose each other. The resultant wave might have higher amplitude, lower amplitude or same amplitude. Constructive interference is when the resultant wave has higher amplitude. What I mean is, if this is one wave, this is two wave. The wave so formed is like this. Then this is, then this is constructive interference. This is my meaning to say. This is constructive interference. Now, let's say, let's understand constructive interference with the help of some examples. Also, this higher amplitude waves causes bright and dark patterns. Let's understand it with the help of some examples. Let's start with the first one. Have you ever observed a thin film of oil on water? It forms a beautiful pattern. Is it to variation in thickness of the film? At the center, it is thicker and as far as we go from the center, the film becomes thinner and thinner. Film becomes thinner. The reflected light from the center and the sides causes constructive interference which causes colorful patterns. This was our first example. Oil film on water. Peacock feathers. Peacock feathers. Have you ever observed peacock feathers? Is there only one feather hanging on its body? No. It's a multi-layered structure. So, the reflected light from the multi-layered structure causes constructive interference for certain colors like green and blue. And please note that if the same feather is seen from different angles, then, then a slight change in the color pattern is observed. And here, our interference ends. Coming to the next phenomenon, diffraction. Diffraction is when a small opaque object blocks the path of light. Then the light no longer travels in a straight line. It bends around the corners of the object. Like this is the light, I suppose. This. Here's a small opaque object. So the light bends around the corners of the object and no longer travels in a straight line. But we don't come across diffraction in our day-to-day -day life because there's a condition that must be fulfilled. And the condition is this. This is the wavelength and this is the thickness of object. As all of us know, wavelength is measured in nanometers. But the thickness of objects we use or see in our day to day life is in meter, centimeter or millimeter. So this is this is end of diffraction. Now Let's study reflection and refraction. Deflection. It is the bouncing of light when it strikes a surface. Like if this is the surface, this is a light ray, there is an incident on it. Then it will be bounced back like this in this way. So when it is bounced back like this, this is called reflection. Coming to the last phenomena of refraction. Refraction is when two medium, when light travels from one medium to the other, it bends. But the condition is the light must be incident on the medium obliquely. The bending of light is due to the different speed of light in different medium. Let's understand it with the help of an example. If, suppose taking the example of air and a glass lamp. If this is a glass lamp, then this is the glass lamp, this is the light incident on it. This is the normal. Then, this is the light has 
light should go in this straight line path but light bends because when it goes from a rarer medium to the denser then the light bends towards the normal you can see and then now it is going out of the glass slab this is the normal it goes away from the normal so the speed of light in air is greater than the speed of light in glass so that's the reason this light gets bended it is the reason it, it got bended near the normal in this case because it went from rarer to denser and it got away from the normal in this case because it got it go it, it went from denser to rarer and now that was uh, all about the basics of the chapter in the upcoming videos we will study about mirrors and reflection in detail please do subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates and please feel free to mention the suggestions in the comment box thank you for watching bye bye